Scene one, take one. Is this the plan to shoot it on Mars or? Yeah. Yeah, basically we have a collaboration with uh, Elon Musk. Okay, so camera's rolling and scene one, take three. Mark it, thank you. Jack Leary, senior engineer en route to Fort Solace in the Planum Quadrant responding to an alarm. Suspected power failure, await further information. Recording submitted. Is there no sign of security? No. Now that it's official, that we're actually adapting, you know, Fort Solace into film, TV and beyond, uh, both you and me were forced from the other end of that camera to this end of it to, you know, give uh, some insights into the process and, and our passion for the game and, and you know, what's going to happen next. Yeah. Cool. I think there may have been an incident here. What drove you to Fort Solace? I think from the first moment we saw it, saw like a trailer before the release on Gamescom. And, and I think both of us immediately more or less was like, we need to, you know, play this first and foremost and, and, you know, experience it. And then obviously like, okay, can we help take this amazing story and this amazing cast and move that into, you know, the format that we're uh, familiar and comfortable with. I was hooked when I saw the trailer. You sent me the trailer and I was like, okay, this one, we need to do that. You have a, you know, super cinematic, immersive experience playing it. You have amazing, you know, characters and actors that brought them to life in the game. And you have some really creative people behind it. And I think this is exactly the kind of, you know, dream project to make. I think both you and me, we love sci-fi. We love the thriller. When you have a few characters in a, in a very isolated place, I mean, you have everything in Fort Solace. You have all those elements together. And the thriller is that you don't really know who is right or who is wrong. But we also have in this, you know, story, uh, you have some of the most interesting characters I've ever seen. Uh, and you as a viewer or player are, you know, thrown into that conflict with some really interesting moral dynamics. Uh, ethical questions and, and science fiction thriller mysteries. Bringing them to life from the game into film, TV and beyond, that's going to be really exciting to introduce them to you know, an even wider audience. Right now, what is happening with the adaptation? Where are we at? What's going on? What we're doing right now is the most crucial, most uh, creative part of the whole process is like, what is the what is the purpose of doing this as a film and how can we emerge it into this new audience as well that haven't played a game or will probably play it after seeing the film or the other way around. We've been spending a lot of time with the game, playing it a whole bunch of times, discussing back, back and forth really, you know, high and low about, you know, the story that we want to tell. Are we doing the story from the game or are we expanding it or are we telling uh, an entirely different encounter on Mars? I don't think we can, uh, you know, reveal any of that yet. We're starting to talk to uh, a couple of actors that we're really excited about bringing into the project uh, and we're figuring out like which is the right home for all of this. Mm. So it's a whole bunch of different stuff going on at the same time, but you know, key in every and all of them is obviously like how can we bring Fort Solace to life from the game we all know and love by now into uh, film, TV and beyond. And it is a dream project, as you said. I don't want to spoil it if anyone hasn't played it yet. If you haven't, you should go and do that first, obviously. It's going to be a sweet ride, that's for sure. Cut! And see. <laughs> <laughs>